our YouTube viewers, game four of the 2008 NBA Finals is over, and the Boston Celtics have done the unthinkable. They have come back from a 18-point halftime deficit to defeat the Los Angeles Lakers 97-91. It was just an incredible comeback. And that 18-point comeback references the biggest halftime comeback in NBA Finals history. I mean, you see me smiling and everything, and I know you know I'm a Celtics fan, but that was this lady at a loss for words. I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm not usually speechless, but this is this just leaves you speechless about what just happened. You, you would not think the Los Angeles Lakers would blow an 18-point halftime deficit and lose 97-91 to fall behind three games to one. I mean, it's just crazy. They went on a 23, to, or excuse me, a 21 to three run to cut the lead to two at the end of the third quarter. I, I was just flabbergasted then. When they took the lead with about four minutes left and did not relent and they go on to win the game. Ray Allen as I mentioned some of my Tiger Droppings buddies I said that Ray Allen will be a key contributor in this series and he has been and that's the reason they're up three games to one is because of Ray Allen. He has been the NBA Finals MVP so far and the Celtics bench has come through, and that's the reason they're up three games to one. Now, if you're the Los Angeles Lakers, you've got to be thinking, what just happened? How did I blow that 24-point lead? Because remember, it was 24 points. It was that at its highest lead to set, or the Lakers had? The Lakers had a 24-point lead at one point in this game. I mean, this just leaves you stunned. I really do think the Celtics are going to close this out on Sunday and win their 17th NBA title. I'll be back then to recap Game 5 of the 2008 NBA Finals. This is Kyle Ramsey for YouTube Sports.